And welcome, welcome, welcome to my first ever Transformers unboxing, unpackaging, however you want to call it. This is Kylo the Nest Man coming at you with my Victorian set. That's right, the first ever female Autobot combiner set that's made up of several Autobots. We got Pyramagna, Dust Up, Jumpstream, Skyburst, Storm Clash, and Rust Dust. On the front, you see this awesome, beautiful artwork. This is amazing. Got a nice shot of the figures in toy mode, in vehicle mode here. And this is, I'm very excited to get this started because my first on the side, we got some writing. Hooray for writing. Writing, we got the Combiner's War set. We got this picture of Victorian right there. Absolutely beautiful. And on the back, we have the beautiful product shot that states clearly, with a will to survive forged in the unstable environment of the Sea of Rust, the Rust Renegades combine to form Victorion, a relentless, resourceful combiner who always finds a way to bring down her targets. This is absolutely amazing, and I, um, one thing I just gotta say, I know the front of the box had, or she had red hands on the artwork, but she has silver hands here, and we'll get to the details on that later, but first and foremost, I love that sword. That is a beautiful, beautiful sword. That is amazing. I can't wait to put that together. And on the side, you see another good product shot with all the, um, all of them here. You got, at the top, we got Power Magna, Dust Up, Jump Stream, Sky Burst, and Storm Clash, and Rust Dust. Who, now, clearly, I'll go into the details of the specific figures. I just wanted to start this off with some amazing box art. This is beautiful. And in a minute, I will go into opening this box. You can see how it's packaged. And after that, I'll have the toys on display. So, be right back. And here we are with the Rust Renegades out of the packaging. Well, not necessarily, but out of the box at least. And this is how you can see a nice close-up of the figures, how it was packaged. Very well detailed, you know, very well holding with the ropes. I'm going to cut those free in a minute, and then you'll see them all on display. But, um, yeah, this is the, the dedicated feet that they have. And the special hands are right there. And the hands that were designed specifically for this combiner, which I'll go into detail later. But I just thought I'd, you know, take the time to show you what's in it. And, um, wifey, wifey over here, Kelsey, Hi. she helped me go in on this, and she pointed out this, like, I'm feeling like a super spy with this giant envelope here, so, there we go, and we have this beautiful, beautiful, magnificent poster right here, it shows the Rust Renegades right there, um, nothing on the back, so this is gonna go up on my wall shortly, um, I'll take a look at that, and so, what else we got? Oh, we got, oh, wait, 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 come on, come on, there we go, it's, it's stapled in here, I think, um, well, yes it is, or is it, there we go, alright, sorry about that, and the uh, obligatory instructions, they're all there, Victorian, all the things are there, so I'm going to look at that and figure out how to transform these beauty fruit, these beautiful girls, and we have one more last thing in here, is there, oh, no card, that's something missing. That's strange. Uh, I thought the card would be in here. Oh well. If it's if it is, I'll show it later. If not, then whatever. It's no big deal. But um, these are the Rust Renegades right here. And in a moment, I will have them on display in the vehicle modes on the table, so you can see. And I'll go into detail about what I think of each and every one of them. So I'll be back. And here they are, fresh out of the packaging. Fresh for all to see, the Rust Renegades, or Torch Bearers, as they're more commonly known. We have, let's see if I can remember which one this is. This is um, Storm, This is Skyburst, because the Autobot symbol's on that side. Let me um, just try to get the focus. There we go, and I have the blade underneath it, her sword. There's, um, I believe this is Dust Up, if I'm not mistaken. Beautiful looking car design. And I know the first thing everybody's thinking is the color scheme, the watermelon girls, and honestly, you're probably right, but frankly, I prefer, I don't mind, I don't mind the, um, the color scheme to these at all. I like the, the way the red and green complement each other. They're all one kind of major singularity all together. They do fit very well. And, um, then there's Pyra Magna, the leader of the group. And there's some more of that Cybertronian writing on the side. There it is, nice and focusy. And that's her weapon. I might have put it on wrong, but who cares? It's just for storage purposes. You can see, you can see the basic half of this is really long. 
really long figure in um, vehicle mode at least. But wait till you see a robot model. That's going to be even more awesome. And then we have Dust Up. She's clearly a repaint of Groove from the Combiner Wars Protect the Bots. You know, just there's nothing new about this whatsoever. I mean, I know plenty of reviewers have pointed this out before. It's clearly just Groove. Nothing super spectacular about it. So I will say um, Rustus is kind of my least favorite of the figures. Um, Pyramagna. Pyramagna is clearly a repaint of Hotspot from the Protectobots. Um, we got molds of Dead End and Breakdown, Wheeljack uh, for the cars. And before I forget, the um, helicopters, um, Skyburst and her twin sister Storm Clash. They are um, basically repaints of Alpha Bravo. I never did like that as one of the aerial bots, frankly. I believe this one's Jumpstream. I, I might have gotten the names wrong, so forgive me. I'm still learning the new names. This is with her on top and the wheels. Um, wheels are all nice and spinny, spinny. Wheels will spin. And finally, we have Storm Clash. I know this is Storm Clash for sure because the Autobot symbol's on her left side. So I know that's Storm Clash. That's how I tell them apart. So. This is them, the Rust Renegades or Torchbearers. Which name do you prefer? Tell me in the comments below. Um, and in a minute, we're gonna get these girls into robot mode. So I will be back. Oh, and before I forget, we found the collector card. It was in the um, bottom of the envelope, just hard to find. And on the back of it, just generations. I kind of wish they gave us tech specs. Um, you know, it would've been nicer to see uh, on, on all in that. But, you know, it is what it is. So, let's get started. I'm going to show these in robot mode in just a sec. And here we have these lovely ladies, the Torchbearers, a.k.a. the Rust Renegades, in their robot modes. And from left to right, we are going to start with Skyburst, who has the Autobot symbol on her right side. And I've always said this, the sword is the best feature about her. She's got a beautiful weapon in addition to her blades. And the blades on the back, they keep falling off. There's really not much I can do about that. Um, it won't stay steady. And then we have, um, let's see, this is one of, this has a basic RC slash um, wind blade face sculpt to it. And this is jump stream, if I'm not mistaken. Um, please mention in the comments if I did get the names wrong, I do apologize. And I like that shield, it's a beautiful thing. It's more beautiful when all these weapons come together. I like especially the chassis. Because it, it gives kind of a feminine look to all of them. Whereas, um, as everybody knows, she, um, Skyburst and Storm Clash were a clear remold and repaint of Alpha Bravo. And she is of one of the Synthicons. I believe Breakdown was the mold. Either Breakdown or Jet. I, I don't remember specifically. Comment in the, um, in the comments below and let me know. Because I'm still kind of new to this. Then we're going to the leader which is Pyra Magna. Pyra Magna, who is clearly a remold repaint of Hotspot, the leader of the Protectobots. She's got some nice backpack action going on because that's why I chose to store the feet slash hands. Well, not slash hands because I can, you can see I can store the hands right in there. And if you're wondering who that little bunny looking thing in the background is, that's Honey Senpai from Oran High School Host Club. Yes, I am an Oran fan. Don't judge me. Love my anime. Anyway, um, this is a beautiful, beautifully tall figure. And right below her, we have Rust Dust, Rusty D Dust Dust. And she is an exact mold sculpt, a repaint, just a repaint, just a repaint of Groove, the um, Combiner Wars Groove, which I was never a fan of anyway. But when I pick up the set, it's going to be with the um, remade Groove that he did, the Japanese model. But otherwise, I love the face sculpt on her. I mean, look at that. That is beautiful. I love the horns. I love the detail on the face. It was absolutely a woman. There is no denying that whatsoever. And moving right along, we have Dust Up, who, I mean, you've seen other viewers, and I'm going to say the same thing they've said. That is clearly Nightbird from, you know, the original Transformers G1. And I don't mind it. I don't mind it at all. I like the look on her face. I like exactly, it means ninja-esque. It's kind of cool. And, you know, this is an all-girl team. So, 
you know, everybody's got to know a girl like this. Unfortunately, I don't know too much about the personalities of the Rust Renegades slash Torchbearers because I haven't read the IDW comics. So I don't know much about them, but I do intend to pick them up soon, as soon as I can. And finally, we move on to Storm Clash, who has the Autobot symbol on her left side. And you can tell, besides where the Autobot symbols are placed, here's a good little tip I've learned. You can tell the difference between them by their eyes. Because Storm Clash clearly has the visor, whereas um, Skyburst does not. Skyburst has the eyes only. And that right there is the Rust Renegades in their robot mode. I'll go into a little bit more detail um, as, as we're moving on. First of all, the, seat, the fact the seats are kind of her knee pads when she's in vehicle mode... It's kind of weird, kind of weird, but I'll, it's weird, but I like it. Yeah, that's cool. One thing I would like to make note of again, though, is the color scheme. A lot of people feel it's splotchy. I kind of agree and disagree because the, um, the color scheme is red and green. Um, yes, we've made the watermelon joke already, but uh, it's, it's okay. I'm finding it to be a unified color scheme. I don't mind it at all. The more I look at it, the more I get used to it. So that being said, we are going to combine these girls into Victorian in a moment. But I just want to go on to say I'm very thankful I was able to pick up this set. And I do intend to pick up more. But um, without further ado, let's get these girls as Victorian. And here she is finally. I gotta say that the combination of uh, Victorian took me a while. Not so much the arms and legs. You know, all that was pretty simple in transformation. It's that annoying chest piece. Let me talk about that for a minute. It's just a repaint of Groove. Everybody knows it. It looks terrible on the Protector bots, but for her it works. But it is, for those who have this figure, it is a pain in the butt to get to stay still. So obviously I'm not going to have it combined so very often. I just wanted to have it in its combined form for a while so I could show it off, so I could show you exactly. This is kind of a new setup for me, so forgive if I'm kind of amateuristic, but that sword, let me talk about that sword. All those separate weapons combined made one busted ass buster sword looking thing. And I love it. I wouldn't trade this toy in for anything in the world. I really would not. Um, I wouldn't sell it. I picked this up. This was worthwhile, you know, and let me just get in here and talk about the head sculpt. The head sculpt of Victoria is absolutely beautiful. I mean, look at her. She's amazing. That is just a beautiful piece of artwork right there. Forgive me if it's blurry. I think the visor complements the silver face painting very well. Nice uh, silver face paint on the top there. Um, and back to this. The detail on the cars look very well done. The um, color scheme does kind of complement well with the red and green in combined mode. It does seem to fit well, whereas in their separate robot modes, they were kind of splotchy as hell. But, you know, this it is what it is. It's, a, it's our first ever female combiner, so we kind of can't really complain. Now, there's two different um, sets you could do. Now, I know the wings are kind of supposed to be out. If you give the noise outside, can't help it. The wings are supposed to be out there. But uh, it is what it is, because if I put the wings out on where the arms are on the, um, as leg parts, they would probably crash into each other, and I don't want to spread the toy that far apart. The leg, the feet components are perfectly done. They look like high heels and look kind of cute. They try to make this a more feminine feel to it, and it looks good. It, it, I think it looks good. I mean, the downside is it's kind of difficult to pose at first, but when you get used to it, I might finagle around and put it in some different poses but I just wanted to straight up set it up, set up the combiner set. And then you can switch those out for arms. You can make these into arm parts, as is well known. I might do an, um, another video showing that another day. But um, I, don't, I just wanted to do it by um, instruction book standards first. And I am in love with that sword. That is a beautiful, beautiful sword. I can't say that enough. Now, I'm not going to lie. I'm not fond of the combo of red and green. I mean, it fits well here, but it um, it fits well here, but it fits. It's kind of splotchy still a little bit. I will say that now. Um, side note: having the cars as arms is not necessarily a bad thing. It is. It looks a little bit more detailed. 
I mean, in this position, you could argue the fact that maybe in the cartoon or in the story, she'd be physically stronger with the car as his arms and a little bit faster with the light parts as legs. And, you know, she could swing that sword a little bit heavier and then vice versa. So, all in all, this is a great toy. It's a great pickup. I know it's a little bit off. Um, yeah, it's a little bit off. Sorry. I accidentally took a snapshot. I didn't know what I was signing for a split second. Sorry about that. But, uh, yeah, the, the waist is a little bit off, but I'll, I'll fix that later on. But from the side, I really can't tell. And this is the pose I'm, I like. This is the pose I'm going to keep it in for a while. And then I'll separate it back into the um, Rust Renegades. Um, and then you'll see them decorated with my other Transformers that I possess. So stay tuned for that. And um, just stay with me, and I will show you that in a minute. Peace. And here we have it at the end. The Torchbearers, a.k.a. the Rust Renegades, surrounding the beautiful Autobot City Fortress Maximus. And there's really not much more I want to say about these girls. They are all amazing. Every last one of them. Color schemes could be a little bit better, but I can get used to it. Next to her, we've got um, Optimus Prime and Orion Pax, but just to round it off, we've got Storm Clash, Jump Stream and Dust Up, Rust Dust, Sky Burst, and Pyra Magna. So, from Kylonis the Nest Man, I bid you adieu, farewell, stay amazing, and remember, growing old is mandatory, growing up is optional. Childhood into adulthood, brotherhood and sisterhood, I love it all, and I love you all. Peace.